welcome to the Hallmarkies Podcast Awards. This is so exciting. We love doing this every year. And I'm film critic and host Rachel Wagner, and Jax is here. Rachel, thank you for letting me co-host with you. This is so fun. Yes, uh, we had a great year of the podcast. We've covered so many different things. We've met so many different people. It's been a great time. And uh, we love doing these awards every year. This is our fourth year doing the awards because it's a chance to celebrate the, the hardworking people that make these uh, TV movies that bring so much joy into our lives. And they don't get a lot of celebration in other places. So this is just our little effort to give them to let them know how much we appreciate uh, their hard work. Uh, and so this year, we decided to do things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. We're going to shake it up. And instead of just awarding Hallmark, we decided to open every category to all the TV movies we enjoyed in 2022. So this is Lifetime, Up TV, and of course, our beloved Hallmark. Yes. And it seems like our listeners enjoyed this approach because we had record uh, voting numbers. And almost every film was recognized in one category or another. So that made us happy. So without further ado, let's get started. We love celebrating the writers at Hallmarkies podcast. And so let's start things out going to our friend Casey, and she's going to announce the best TV movie writer of 2022. Hi, everybody. Casey here coming to you live from the beautiful Northwest Florida, where it is a balmy 60 degrees, hence my short sleeve. Anyways, we're not here to talk about the weather. We are here to talk about best TV movie writer for the Hallmarkies podcast. And before I get into who our winner is for the 2022 season, let me announce the nominees. Your nominees are Wendy Stewart from Well Suited for Christmas, Tracy Andreen, The Holiday Sitter, Nicole Baxter, The Presence of Love, Julie Sherman Wolf, Hanukkah on the Rye, Hanukkah on Rye, and Nina Weinman, Just One Christmas. And your winner for the 2022 Hallmarkies podcast season is Wendy Stewart. Congratulations, Wendy. Wonderful movie. And we can't wait to see what other movies you have up your sleeve. Thank you, Hallmarkies podcast and everybody who voted. I appreciate your support and love for Well Suited for Christmas. And sometimes I think that being a writer can be a solitary kind of occupation, but it wasn't in this case. And I would like to thank Dawn and Rosemary and Brittany and Sapna for just truly collaborating on this project with some great ideas. And I would really like to give a shout out to Michelle who directed the project, to Mercedes and Franco, to Xavier and Stephanie and Gabriel, who just brought the characters to life in a authentic and really heartwarming way. I appreciate you and your work. So Hallmarkies podcast, keep doing what you're doing because you're good at it and go Eagles. Next up, our films need a director. And for that award, we will go to Me Too for the winner. What makes a great director? Is it flexibility? Is it command of these wonderful stories? Is it time management? It's actually all of the above, and even more magic on top. So without further ado, here are the Hallmarkies Podcast Awards nominees for Best Director. Jeff Beasley for Just One Kiss. John Putch for A Holiday Spectacular. Lee Friedlander for Groundswell. McLean Nelson for The Presence of Love. Michael Robeson for Romance in Style. And the winner is... John Putch for A Holiday Spectacular. Congratulations, John! Hi, everybody. It's John Putch coming to you from a blank wall in Studio City, California. I want to thank you for voting for me uh, for my best directing achievement on Holiday Spectacular on the Hallmark Channel. I really appreciate it. That's really cool. And uh, I'm very glad to be among the honored. And uh, it was a great time. And uh, hopefully it'll endure the film throughout the seasons and we'll, uh, we'll keep seeing it every year. Uh, also, uh, 
if you want to look out for the next uh, Christmas movie uh, I've done, it'll be out next uh, fall, 2023. It's called A Biltmore Christmas, and it's also for the Hallmark Channel. And some of your favorites are in that one as well. Chris Palaha, Joy Lenz. We have the amazing Jonathan Frakes as a guest cast member and the amazing Robert Picardo, Mary McDonough, uh, among others. That'll be this fall and next Christmas. So watch for that. And uh, thanks again for my award. I really appreciate it. We love our TV movie queens and kings. And this year's winners will be announced by Anne and Michelle. The nominations for TV movie king are Franco Lopresti, Well Suited for Christmas, Santa's Got Style, Hector Rivera, Groundswell, Jonathan Bennett, The Holiday Sitter, Santino Fontana, Just One Kiss, John Brotherton, Light Camera Christmas. The winner is Franco Lopresti, Well Suited for Christmas, Santa's Got Style. Hello everyone at Hallmarkies Podcast. This is Franco Lopresti here. Um, I am just so humbled and grateful to have been given this award as Movie King of 2022. Um, I have to give a lot of thanks to, um, first and foremost, to Hallmarkies Podcast um, for even nominating me and considering my work um, to Lifetime to uh, UPTV and Brain Power Productions, who have been big uh, supporters of of my work. Uh, thank you very much to the fans who have voted. I mean, you guys are you guys are awesome. Uh, I really, really love making these movies. I put my heart and soul into these characters, and you know, my main goal every time I get a part is to really generate a feeling within you guys to feel good, to feel something. And um, if I can do that, then I've done my job. Uh, so the love goes out to all you guys. Uh, I thank God for, for putting me in this position to have the privilege to work as an actor. And uh, I pray that more movies come along and you guys can enjoy them for years and years to come. All right, thank you so much. And this is an absolute honor. Thank you. Hi, Hallmarkies. Co-host Anne here presenting the award for TV Movie Queen. We love these movies, and they're centered on female stories. And these actresses had a great year. The nominees are Mercedes de la Zerda, Well Suited for Christmas, Kim Matula, Ghost of Christmas Always, Sarah Drew, Reindeer Games Homecoming, J.C. Elliott, my Southern Family Christmas, Romance and Style, Catherine Davis, Santa's Got Style, and Six Degrees of Santa. And the award for the 2022 TV Movie Queen goes to Sarah Drew. Sarah, we look forward to your movies every year. Congratulations on not only starring in this movie and doing an amazing job, but also writing it. Congratulations, Sarah. You guys! This is so, so kind and so generous. And um, we're just all so overwhelmed from Team Reindeer Games Homecoming. Uh, we had such an incredible time making this movie with our good friends and um, bringing joy and um, romance and comedy to you guys. And uh, I mean, I'm just so honored because... Y'all have a lot of Christmas movies out there to watch. So I'm I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for voting for me. Um, I do not take it lightly. You guys are the ones that keep us in business making these Christmas movies. So thank you so, so much. I'm so honored. Mwah! Any queen and king needs a princess and prince for supporting actress and actor. Jess and Bree are here to announce this year's winners. Hi everyone, I'm Bree from the Hallmarkies team and I will be your presenter today for the category of Prince or Supporting Actor. First up, we have Madison Smith for Nikki and Nora's. Next, we have Ryan Sills in Santa's Got Style and Reindeer Game Homecoming. Then we have Cardi Wong in The Gift of Peace. We have Casey Manderson in Dating the Delaney's. And finally, we have Matt Hamilton in Campfire Christmas and Three Wise Men and a Baby. Congratulations to our winner, Brian Sills.
So Hallmarkies, if that is indeed a real podcast, I understand you are attempting to bribe me, a security officer, with some sort of award. Well, it's very, very suspicious. Apparently, you seem to think of me as some sort of comic character. Well, let me assure you that there is nothing funny about department store security, especially Christmas time. It is, in fact, not the most wonderful time of the year. It is the most dangerous. As I have proven, there are imposter Santas lurking around every corner. But let's get back to the situation at hand. I suppose you are expecting me to express some sort of gratitude for this award. Thanks. Is it big or is it shiny? Is it cash? Because that go go for Adam. There's a, a cat loose in the shoe wear department. There's a puss in boots. Roger, I'm on it. Over. Well, as you can see, no rest for the award winning. There's nothing quite like watching your favorite Hallmark couple fall in love, but sometimes they need a little help from their friends. And we often find that the supporting cast can help turn a good movie into a great movie. And that's why today I'm so excited to announce the nominees for Hallmark Princess or Best Supporting Actress. And the nominees are Chelsea Hobbs in The Holiday Sitter, Jennifer Robertson in In Merry Measure, Ava Grace Cooper in Just One Kiss, Laura Soltis in Romance and Style, and Erica Ash in Unthinkably Good Things. And the winner is Jennifer Robertson in Merry Measure. Congratulations, Jennifer. Hi, Hallmarkies. Thank you so much for my Princess Award. I'm in my vehicle. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited. I've pulled over. So I'm safely thanking you for this Princess Award for playing Gretchen in In Merry Measure, starring next to my dear friend, Patty Murin. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Bye. When a king and queen make a great match, we get the best couple, and Cami is ready to announce the winner. I am Cami Clements, one of your presenters this evening, and my question for you is, what do we do when we feel that we are bogged down by the everyday living of life? What do we do when we feel that our romantic lives have something missing, and what do we do when we feel that we've lost some of our mystery. We live vicariously through the people on TV, of course, and I am here to present the nominees and winner for the best couple that we enjoy watching on that television. And to save myself a huge PR mess, I'm just going to apologize now if I get your name wrong. So sorry. The nominees are Carlos and Alexa Penavega in Love in the Limelight, Ariana Ron Pedrique and Rodrigo Massa for Merry Texmas, Mercedes de la Cerda and Franco Lopresti in Well Suited for Christmas, Sarah Drew and Justin Bruning in Reindeer Games Homecoming, and Lacey Chabert and Hector Rivera in Groundswell. And... The winner is Sarah Drew and Justin Bruning. Congratulations, you two. We hope to keep living vicariously through your beautiful chemistry time and time again. Congratulations. Hey, dude, we're killing it. <laughs> awesome. That's we just have to keep working together. Come on. Well, I, that's fine. We can keep doing that. The plan, I mean, if right? it's going to present this much reward, I think it should just continue to happen. That's pretty fun. It's so easy, though. I know. It's so fun. It's so fun to work with you. So easy to work with you. We had a blast, yeah. and we're so glad that you guys loved it so much. Thank you so I, much for all the love and support. Yes, thank you. It was awesome. We had a lot of great ensembles in 2022 that made these movies great. Caroline is here to announce the best of 2022. 2022 gave us some pretty great ensemble movies. And the nominees are 
Merry Taxmas, Girl Friendship, Campfire Christmas, Must Love Christmas, and Three Wise Men and a Baby. And the winner is Three Wise Men and a Baby. Congratulations, y'all. We will hear more from one of the Three Wise Men later, but let's move away from Christmas and announce the best non-Christmas movie from our friend, film critic, Alonzo Duralde. Hi, everybody. I'm Alonzo Duralde. You know me from podcasts like Linoleum Knife, and I'm the author of Have Yourself a Movie Little Christmas and co-author of the Deck the Hallmark book, I'll Be Home for Christmas Movies. So, of course, big fan of Hallmark Christmas movies. Always a fan to come on Hallmarkies to talk about the Christmas titles. And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm giving out non, non-Christmas. Oh, oh, okay. Well, um, I had a whole song ready to go, but I, it was Christmas, so I guess we'll do this. Okay. The Hallmarkies Podcast Award for Favorite Movie Non-Christmas. The nominees are Just One Kiss, Presence of Love, Romance in Style, Nikki and Nora, Sister Sleuths, and groundswell and the hallmarky podcast award goes to just one kiss congratulations back to you in the studio hallmarkies nina weinman here i just want to say thank you so much for voting just one kiss as your favorite non-christmas hallmark movie of last year um, it was truly a labor of love for me um, and I was so fortunate to get invited to the party by Aisha Francis. She had a vision for this at Hallmark. She had a vision for this movie um, based on the original story by Diane Robin and David Reale, who just came up with this amazing, innovative, fun idea. And I feel really fortunate that I got to be a part of this. It was definitely one of those pinch me kind of projects that um, as a Broadway fan, uh, it starred Santino Fontana and Krista Rodriguez, which is beyond, you know, dream casting. And uh, a special thank you to Joey Plager and Jeff Beasley, our producer and director, for making this movie beyond any of our wildest dreams. Um, thank you so much for always supporting me. I'm going to keep making the movies. You guys keep coming. We always look forward to Greg McBride's presentation in these awards. And this year, he is ready to present the best TV Christmas movie. Hi, uh, do you recognize me? I'm Greg McBride, noted writer, although I will admit I was not nominated for favorite Christmas movie in this year's Hallmarkies Awards. It really is an oversight. They would say, you didn't have a Christmas movie out last year, Greg, but I don't get that. I don't understand it at all. But perhaps you know the nominees. There's Well Suited for Christmas. There's Three Wise Men and a Baby. There's Howl Out the Holly, <laughs> Reindeer Games Homecoming, another nominee, and also Ghosts of Christmas Always. Um, I wasn't a nominee, but maybe I would be one year. Are you even listening to me? She's not even listening to me. So let's just get to the winner, shall we? Here's the envelope. Brought it from home. And the winner is... Rent Past Due. That is not right. I did, oh, here's the envelope, here it is. A little embarrassing, just a joke, really, just a joke. Do you come here often? All right. The winner is, favorite Christmas movie, Reindeer Games Homecoming. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Wow. Oh, yes. Thank you guys so much. We are so honored that you all loved our film. We had yes. so much fun making it, and we just couldn't be more thrilled that you guys loved it so much. We have, it's the audience of the Hallmarkies podcast, right? They're the ones who are voting on yes. this, right? So thank yes. you. Okay. They love so cool. Ranger Games Homecoming. They totally love That's it. Awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. everybody. Right there, Thank I love you. That. that was beautiful. Ryan Roslinger, would you. you like to would you like to say anything specific to I'm our fans? So I'm so happy that that people love this movie um, because I know we love it and yeah, yeah. It um, and it was such a great experience and I'm glad that it uh, you know the joy we had making the movie uh, apparently 
uh, was able to be conveyed to the audience watching it. So that that's the best uh, the, the best award we could have. So thank you so much. Best award. I agree. Yay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Mwah. Hallmark tried a lot of new ideas in 2022, and there was some big breakout talent. Jasmine is here to tell us who won for best breakout role. Hello, Hallmarkies. Sometimes being a new kid on the block is not a bad thing. But when you stand out above the crowd of new Hallmark talent while making a splash, you're bound to end up on the best breakout talents list. Now, here are the nominees for the best breakout talent of 2022. And they are Brian Sills, Reindeer Games Homecoming, We Wished a Married Christmas, and Santa's Got Style. Hunter King in A Royal Corgi Christmas, Hidden Gems, and Nikki and Nora's Sister Sleuth. Sarah Ramos in A Kissmas Christmas. J.C. Elliott in Romance and Style and My Southern Family Christmas. And last but not least, Annalise Sapero in Holiday Harmony. Now, the winner's going to be, okay, for us, the winner is J.C. Elliott for Romance and Style and My Southern Family Christmas. Congratulations. I'm so happy. You definitely was a shining light for me for 2022. And I am rooting for a Romance and Style series. I am so rooting for that one of those to happen. <laughs> Take it away. Hello, Hallmarkies. Um, I'm so incredibly surprised and so grateful. What an incredible gift to be honored this way for working for Hallmark. It's such a highlight of my life and a highlight of my career. Um, everyone that I've worked with at Hallmark, from the producers to the writers to the directors to the actors to the fans, everyone is just so committed to spreading a message of love and kindness and um, joy. And it's so important in this day and age that we connect to this and Hallmark is the epitome of that. And so I am I feel magically lucky to be part of this journey with everyone. And to be honored here today like this really just makes me so full of love and I have no more words. I'm just uh, so grateful to everyone and I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. So thank you everyone at Hallmarkies for making this award happen and thank you for everyone for honoring me in this way. There were many memorable scenes and moments in 2022, but Haley Strong is here to present the one that topped them all. Hi, Hallmarkies podcast. I'm Haley Strong, co-host of The Bachelor Wrap Up over on the Reality TV Wrap Ups Network. And I am here to present the nominees and winner for the favorite moment or scene. And our nominees this year are, maybe I just like looking at you, Kiss in Well Suited for Christmas. The dance in Three Wise Men and a Baby. Marriage was a possibility for you seen in The Holiday Sitter. Just One Kiss Ghost Reveal. And Red Returns to Walton's in a Walton's Thanksgiving. And the winner is The Dance in Three Wise Men and a Baby. Congrats, you guys. Thanks. Best ensemble and moment in a film in 2022? I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I, honestly, I'm I'm speechless. I want to thank the fans first and foremost, uh, and a close second, the two guys that made it happen with me. I uh, I'm basically nothing, guys, without Paul and Tyler. Um, I'm a shell of myself. That's right. I don't really know who I am without them by my side. Um, so I, I couldn't have definitely done, I couldn't have done anything without them. Um, so a lot of love to them. And I appreciate even being on the docket for this and, uh, and then winning. Wow. Wow. You made my Tuesday. My Tuesday is, is that much better now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.
We had great interviews throughout the year and there's just nothing I love doing more is, is getting to meet all these incredible people, getting to interview them. It's an honor. Uh, but uh, Mary is here to tell us uh, the nominees and the winner for best Hallmarkies podcast interview. Hello, I'm Mary Richards, and I'm here to announce the winner of the best Hallmarkies podcast interview. Now, the nominees were Sky Marshall, Lucian River Chohan, Kevin Joy and Galadriel Steinem, the Mary Textimus cast, the Rhiannon Fish interview. And the winner was the Mary Textimus cast. Congratulations. We'll be hearing from Mary Textimus later, but let's move on from an interview to best Hallmarkies podcast episode. Megan is here to share with us the winner. Hello, I'm here to announce the category for the best Hallmarkies podcast episode. The nominees are Unthinkably Good Things by the Mahogany Cast, Hanukkah Rye Recap, Top 10 Sex in the City Recap, Top 10 of Heartland Recap, Five Year Podcast Birthday, and 12 Best Hallmark Christmas Movies. And the winner is Rachel and Amber on the Five Year Podcast Birthday episode. Congratulations on five years and here's to five more. So I can't believe that it's been five years since we started this little podcast. Uh, what an incredible journey it's been. It was so much fun to revisit some of those memories with Amber. And I'm really flattered that you all voted as your favorite. And it's kind of like voting for the podcast being your favorite, that the five-year anniversary uh, episode was your favorite. I know Amber would say the same thing if she was here and uh, she is grateful for all of your support. And I certainly am just so grateful for everybody who's listened to any episodes, for all the guests that we've had on, and for the, the chance to do the five-year uh, celebration episode was, was really, really wonderful and uh, something I'll never forget. So thank you very much. And we've covered a lot of bonus content this year, so we decided it would be fun to honor the favorite bonus episode of the podcast and Jax is actually going to present this uh, this award. Hi, I'm Jax and I'm here to present the award for best bonus episode of 2022 for Hallmarkies podcast. And the nominees are Ranking Jane Eyre Movies, Father of the Bride Recap, A Walton's Thanksgiving Recap, a Christmas story recap and ranking persuasion movies. And the award goes to a Christmas story recap with Aaron and Rachel. Hello, Hallmarkies. Aaron here. Thank you so much for voting Rachel and I's A Christmas Story episode as the best bonus episode. I never thought I'd win any kind of awards while getting into podcasting, but I appreciate it so much. I want to thank Rachel and all of you Hallmarkies so much for the honor, and I can't wait to be back. There were tons of great cameos in Hallmark movies last year, and Natasha is here to tell us which brief appearance was most memorable? Hi everyone, it's Natasha from Singapore. I'm so pleased to be with you guys today to be announcing one of the awards for Hallmarkies Podcast Awards. Uh, I hope I get this right. I've been, this is my like 10th recording. So fingers crossed. I think this is why I'm a writer and not an actor. So kudos to all those actors and some really great ones on this list. So without further ado, here is the award for best cameo in a Hallmark movie. We have Eric Mabius from Haul Out the Holly, Chris Polaha also from Haul Out the Holly. We have Kimberly Sustard from Three Wise Men and a Baby, Chris McNally from Christmas Class Reunion, and lastly, Jonathan Bennett from When I Think About Christmas. And the winner is? I mean, there's a drum roll. <laughs> the winner is Chris Palaha from Haul Out the Holly. Congratulations. See you. Hello, everybody who voted for the Hallmarkies Podcast Cameo Award. I am so grateful 
to be your winner. Thank you so much. I had such a great time working with Lacey Chabert and of course Wes Brown, Stephen Tobolowsky, uh, McLean Nelson, Samantha DePippo, everybody involved in Bring Out the Holly. It was an incredible crew out of Utah and um, what a fun, fun movie. So proud to be a part of it, even if for the small, small time. Um, well, they say there are no small players, right? Only, only, no. They, they say there are no small roles, only small players. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Hallmark and Netflix loved Italy in 2022. It's the only place you could fall in love. And so we thought it would be fun this year to have a best Italy-themed movie category. And Marissa is here to tell us who uh, was the most Italian of all the Italian movies. The category is best Italy-themed movie. And the nominees are... Always Amore, Unthinkably Good Things, Welcome to Mama's, Love and Gelato, and Our Italian Christmas Memories. And the winner is Always Amore. Ciao, Julie Sherman Wolf qui. Sono così entusiasta di sentire che tutti voi avete amato Always Amore. Ironia della sorte, il film una volta era ambientato in Italia, ma negli anni di sviluppo siamo finiti nel nord ovest del Pacifico. Sono contento che si sentisse ancora italiano, grazie per aver guardato e per tutto il vostro sostegno. Everyone knows we love a hot nerd on Hallmark Channel. The winner for Best Hot Nerd Award. Hi, my name is Elise Murray, and I am honored to present the 2023 Hallmarkies Award for Best Hot Nerd. Now, you're probably looking at me and thinking, <laughs> Elise, What's an elegant, effervescent, endlessly beautiful Hallmark movie writer know about nerds? <laughs> well, you may not have noticed, but I'm wearing a Star Wars necklace, a Star Trek dress, the sweater from a defunct comic book series TV show on Netflix, alien headset, and the one thing that defines all nerds, glasses. So I know a thing about nerds, and that's why I am proud to present the award for best hot nerd. Here are our nominees. Chandler Massey, A Tale of Two Christmases. Ryan Rotman, My Southern Family Christmas. Rodrigo Massa in Merry Textmas. Brendan Penny in Merry Measure. And Madison Smith in Meeting Mr. Christmas. Now drum roll please. Here's our winner. The 2023 best hot nerd by Hallmarkies selected is Rodrigo Massa in Merry Textmas. Congratulations, live long and prosper. Got my glasses on, because apparently I just won the Hot Nerd Award for the Hallmarkies Podcast Awards. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank everyone who voted. Uh, I don't really consider myself a, a hot nerd. I consider myself a nerd, but you know, if you guys want to want to give me that title, I will take it and I will run with it. Um, I really want to thank Rachel for um, all your beautiful projects online and your reviews, which I am kind of addicted to right now. Thank you for the beautiful words and for promoting all this work that we do with our open hearts uh, and uh, making sure that more and more people out there get to know what we're doing. Uh, I want to thank the fans because uh, you guys are amazing and I love you so much and um, you know when, I, when I'm filming a movie, when I'm uh, reading a script, when I'm planning what I'm gonna do uh, once the camera is on, um, I think about you guys a lot. I think about you guys all the time actually, uh, how, how you're gonna to react to what we're doing. Uh, are, are you gonna laugh at this scene? Is, is this part here going to uh, get a tear out of uh, some of you? So um, you guys are always in our hearts and we really appreciate all the hard work that you put into you know, sharing all, all the, the, the projects that uh, we bring to the, the small or the big screen. Uh, with all of your followers on social media, we would be nothing without you. And of course, I want to also thank uh, all the team behind Merry Textmas. Everyone at Lifetime was so amazing. Uh, I, I don't think I've, I've ever worked with uh, a team that really feels like 
family and they pamper us so much. Little gifts, you know, on the first day of filming, uh, the week before the premiere. Uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I, I like some good old pampering. So <laughs> uh, that, that was fun. But, um, uh, you know, but besides the, the pampering and the gifts, just the fact that they gave us an opportunity to uh, represent Latinos uh, on the screen of Lifetime, have entire scenes in Spanish, do something that no one had done before. I mean, it's an honor to be part of this project, to sing the main song in, uh, in the soundtrack. Anyway, I, I, it's been a wonderful uh, year and I feel very, very blessed. Thank you, everybody. And uh, keep watching the Hallmarkies Podcast Awards. Sometimes these movies wait for the big kiss to the last 30 seconds. We all know that, but sometimes they give us a little bit more. And so we have Kristen Maldonado here to tell us the best kiss in TV movies of 2022. I'm Kristen Maldonado, entertainment journalist and founder of Pop Culture Planet, where we cover the world of entertainment while shining a light on representation and inclusion. I'm so honored to be presenting the category of favorite TV movie kiss. These iconic kisses are the moments we all wait for in anticipation that prove the magic of love and the holidays are very much alive. And the nominees are Well Suited for Christmas, Reindeer Games Homecoming, Maple Valley Christmas, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and Merry Textmas. And the winner is Reindeer Games Homecoming. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Wow. wow. I can never go outside again. Okay. <laughs> it's great. You guys, thank you so much. That porch scene was so fun. You know, Brian Herzlinger, when we were, uh, when he was directing that scene, wanted to give off the the vibes from, um, what's the movie? Oh, come on. Tom Cruise. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Yes. Oh, man. Sorry. Man, yes. He wanted totally to give off Jerry Maguire uh, vibes. And then he does this very cool Herzlinger special where he comes really yes. close into our faces and grabs stuff. And so that was fun. Makes it like glow and prettiness. It was fantastic. It yeah. was a fun scene. That was a really that fun was a lot of fun. Scene. I was Thank all nervous. Twitter painted. Were you, were you sweating? Were you sweating a little? I was totally sweating. <laughs> Wasn't that cold out? I had an extra jacket on. It was so hot. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I Thank you guys. That. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> Finally, we decided to give a special award this year, just decided by the Hallmarkies podcast co-hosts. The movie we all agree to give the co-host's favorite film honor to is The Ghosts of Christmas Always. Here are writers Zach Hug and Anika Marks to accept this award. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Hallmarkies. It's it's so like it's such an honor to to have this award, and particularly that you all liked it is so gratifying and lovely. And uh, I'm gonna thank uh, Kate Redinger and Camden Simmons at Hallmark, who like I, I pitched them a weird thing, and they made it. They let it let it be weird, and they really fought for it to keep being weird, uh, which was so fun and. I don't know. It was, it was great to be able to do that. And also, uh, I'm going to thank Rich Nui, who directed it, who was so great at uh, pulling it all together and making it beautiful. But mostly, I would like to thank Annika, who was handed a bonkers script and <laughs> made it make sense when I could no longer do so. Uh, so thank you, Annika. <laughs> oh, well, mostly I need to say thank you, Zach, because the weirdness was so wonderful and it wouldn't exist except that you had thought it up somehow and you made such an incredible sandbox and I just got to play in it and it was so fun and I'm so grateful to you for inviting me in and I agree Rich did an incredible job I married to him I'm super biased but he really did an incredible job um and and he had such a fun job to do because the cast was amazing Ian and Kim and they were just, it's just an amazing, amazing chemistry. Like that, that was just magical. And um, I, Ryan who produced it, like it was just, these things only work when a million little miracles happen. And this had yes. a lot of magic, so. But hey, um, miracles, Reginald Vell Johnson and Lori Tanjin, miracles, miracles. Miracles. <laughs> in a movie. Yep. 
all these little magical things that come together that um, when you're sitting behind a cute computer, like you can't even really dream them up. And so, um, so fun to watch it resonate with people all this time later and to know that the um, your fans have connected with it. It's, it's so rewarding and I'm super grateful to have been along for the ride at all. And mostly again, it's all, this is all you, Zach. It's, it's such no. a fun. No, 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 this is, I mean, this is absolutely, we are weird. That's what's good news about it. We're weird and ordinary. That's, here we go. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Hallmarkies. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We'd like to thank all of the awards winners for their speeches and for all of the presenters for participating in this awards ceremony. We have so much fun doing this every year. And, uh, and we'd just like to thank everybody who was involved in making these fun movies and uh, bringing some joy to our lives. So thank you so much to everybody and we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye everyone. Bye.